Welcome to another edition of Hermcast. First thing you want to do is pause the video and then write down, or draw this on a blank sheet of paper. So you have your elements going across the top, and then you have a few elements going down the side. All right, now that you've drawn it, what you want to do is we want to talk about atomic size or the size of an atom. So if we were to draw lithium, we know lithium is number three on the periodic table, which means that it has its nucleus. And then around the nucleus, it's going to have two electrons, and you need a third one. Now, it's not terribly important right now that you know how many electrons go in each of the different kinds of rings. That's not what we're studying here. We're going to study how this changes as we go from lithium to beryllium. All right, now beryllium, it's number four, meaning that it has four electrons. So if we were to draw beryllium, we would have one in the center. We have two around it, and again, in the center here, we know that we have four um, protons. This one only had three. So we have two electrons around it, and now we have two electrons on the next energy level. Doesn't matter, again, for this chapter where we draw the electrons. That's not what we're concerned about. But take a look at this. The center here has four protons, and four protons are going to be pulling those electrons in. This one only has three. So it's going to be pulling also the electrons in, but not as strongly, because this has a greater positive charge. This would be, again, plus four in the center. This one's plus three. So for our first trend, what we're talking about is atomic size. We expect that this beryllium to actually be smaller than lithium. And the definition of the size of an atom isn't how many protons and neutrons it has, like the mass is. It's actually how big it is, so it includes the electrons. So that's why this one is drawn slightly smaller than lithium. And if we continue with this, boron's going to be the same thing. In the center, boron has five, so it's going to be plus five. Those five are going to be pulling the electrons in even tighter. So you're going to get two here. And then on the outside here, you're going to have one, two, and then three. So this is going to be even smaller. Carbon plus six. Same thing, smaller. And then you can see that it's going to keep on getting smaller and smaller until you get to neon, which neon's number is number 10. So it's going to have 10 plus. It's going to have two in here. And then around it, it's going to have eight. And they're going to be bunched up. Again, it doesn't matter where you draw them right now. But this is going to be the smallest size. So it goes from the biggest all the way down to the smallest. All right? And that has to do with the, um, the, the nucleus, the charge of the nucleus. As we move down, this was 10, this is 11, so we need to draw sodium. Sodium down here is going to be plus 11 in the nucleus, and then it's going to have those two electrons around it. It's going to have the 8 from the same as over here. All right, now what we have would be neon. It looks the same as neon. And now there's no more room in this ring, so what you have to do is you have to draw another ring. And these rings are huge. The reason is both of these things are negatively charged. They don't want to be near each other. So as you go down, you can see that the size increases. Same thing's true with potassium. Then potassium would have one ring. This is K. It's going to have the second ring with all of its electrons. And then it's going to have a third ring, the same as right above it, sodium. And then it's going to have a fourth ring. And it's going to be even bigger. So as you move down, what's going to happen to your trend is it's going to get bigger. As you move across, it gets smaller. And there's an easy way to represent this, to remember. It's to draw a box and say, all right, this is a periodic table. All right, so here's our periodic table. We're talking about atomic size. And then if you draw an up arrow and then an arrow across, all you have to do is label these things or remember what these lines mean. Well, for atomic size, we can see clearly that it decreases as you move across. And then as you move up, up it's biggest, smaller, smallest. So as you go up, it also decreases. And now you have one of the trends down. If you memorize this, there's four more to go. Atomic size decreases as you go across, and then it decreases as you move up also.